for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip with the Mad Shoes, as always. Got another update video for you guys today. It's going to be going over the player ratings update that just dropped in Madden 23. Just kidding. This is a much bigger update than that. I know I do a weekly video on the player ratings updates and, you know, guys that go up and guys go down. But this one here has nothing to do with that. This is all about franchise mode, mutt, gameplay, offensive line, meta man zero blitzes. They addressed every single thing when it comes to uh, what have been the biggest issues in Madden 23. And I'm going to go over all that in today's video. But as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, if you want to stay up to date on Madden 23 updates as they drop, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and make sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into the issues. Now, the first one is probably the most important one because it's gameplay based. And I'm going to go over the gameplay issues first. Gameplay, when it comes to uh, whatever game mode you play, obviously gameplay is going to impact all of it. So I'll get over, I'll go over franchise and I'll go over Mutt here in a minute. But let's go over the gameplay updates because this really addressed multiple meta blitzes and uh, blocking issues that have really plagued the online gameplay. None of the the defenses, none of the zone coverages, man coverages, offenses, all that stuff has been working just fine, except for the offensive line. And they really attacked that in a major way. So let's first go over some of the meta blitzes that they're patching. Now, the first one, apparently there was one where you could get like an A-gap or a B-gap blitz from a 4-3 even 6-1 formation. I didn't know that one, and not a lot of other people did either. So I'm not going to go over too much with that, but apparently they fixed an issue where you could get like an interior line or interior defensive lineman in free if you did a certain setup with the 4-3 even 6 one so they patched that before that even became a big thing good for them uh another big one this is probably the biggest one which i probably should have led with and that's the nickel overstorm brave this play still works but it is patched if you have a blocking running back that's basically what it says so if you're using the nickel overstorm brave or if somebody's using the nickel overstorm brave uh meta blitz against you where essentially they just pinch the entire defense blitz their safety and bring it down in between the two linebackers uh this will this will still work if your opponent isn't blocking a running back, but if they're blocking a running back, it picks it up. So that's something where they didn't really patch this. If you don't have a blocking running back, the defensive ends will still get all free. But if you're blocking a running back, they will communicate better. The linemen will communicate better with each other, and this will get picked up. So the Nickel Overstorm Brave is no longer the matter. You just have to make sure that you block a running back. They also address the dollar spinner play, the dollar three two spinner play, which is another meta blitz. They said that basically says uh, fix an issue with pass block targeting, allowing an unblocked rusher when the defensive play would pinch their linebackers and sit in a gap in a three two dollar spinner. So they they you know basically patched that as well, and it doesn't say anything about needing a blocking running back. It just says that they patched that. So basically that's another play that's dead. Uh, and then the last one, they also tried to fix the loop blitz again because last time, even though the loop blitz was patched a little bit and it was a little less effective it was still it still worked so now they changed it completely where you cannot even put a second level defender whether that's a linebacker a safety uh anything into a cubic contain only thing that can stay in a cubic contain lane i should say is the lineman now you can see here i'm trying to walk these linebackers into the, the qb contain lanes and they just walk out the second i leave they walk out so that is basically what it did they will not stay in that lane making pretty much any blitz where the qb contain was used to make the looping pressure which i actually had a few in my ebooks um, they don't work anymore now with that being said those three uh meta blitzes are all dead but i actually put out a meta blitz that was not patched and i will have a link in the description and i'll also have a pop-up at the end of this video on screen so if you guys need a new defense because it looks like you all do if you're using these defenses uh this is the best one out there right now that was not patched because it has nothing to do with qb contains or anything like that so link on the description and link on the screen at the end of the video uh they also did something where apparently there was a defensive end coming out of a nickel over blitz if it's the cover too i know exactly which one they're talking about because that was one that i was uh, i had in my ebooks as well but i'm not really sure because it doesn't really explain that too well the next big issue is catching i don't really think catching is too much of an issue but uh they do have things like the aggressive catch glitch um aggressive catching is a little bit overpowered somewhat you know borderline on rocket catching at this point uh it doesn't say anything about addressing those things or tuning them down but it does say that they did uh change a couple things when it comes to catching apparently sometimes you call for a rat catch and you get a possession catch they fix that uh things like knockouts wouldn't come up when they were requested to come up uh things like uh tipped balls being caught by receivers on offense which can be annoying but i don't really think that was too rampant or that happened too much 
Uh, there's also something here where it says fixed an issue where multiple midair interactions uh, would trigger before the ball arrived, causing receivers to miss the ball. I know that I've had that happen to me sometimes where it says it's out of range when it clearly was in range and there was really no reason for the receiver not to catch it. So things like that, it looks like they, they fixed. But a lot of this stuff isn't really uh, you know overpowered. I'm really just trying to go over like the ones that are really important as I'm reading this uh, this list of things here. Uh, there's also one where um, this one probably is to, to tune down the juke hurdle combo, which you know a lot of people know known as the jurdle. This one here can be a little bit overpowered. I know a lot of pro players love the jurdle because they change directions really quickly. They can jump over players. What says now they change that to uh, basically make sure that the the height and speed of the change of direction is appropriate, which is another way of saying that they just they just tuned it down. They nerfed it. So if you were jurdling, they nerfed your jurdle, buddy. Sorry. Uh, so that's done. Then it also says that um, when it comes to strip ball mechanic, it says they're reducing the oversteering of the defender, which sometimes would lead the uh, defender away from the ball carrier so that's you know those are the biggest gameplay issues right there another big issue and this is something that I've gone over in multiple videos and defensive cheats videos it says they fixed an issue sometimes allowing the offense to see the defensive zone art during the play in online head-to-head -head games which is something that I mentioned I told him I, I said in those videos I have no idea why this is happening it really shouldn't be because it gives away the entire defense if your opponent is in a curl flat and you see them in a curl flat you know that they're in a cover three or a cover four so I never understood why that was there. It looks like they finally fixed that. That's not something a lot of people were complaining about. But to me, that was super weird that you could see the defensive play art. Uh, and now, apparently, that's going away. Uh, when it comes to pre and post play, a lot of celebration issues were fixed. I know sometimes you'll see a guy just like freeze after play. It says they fixed that. Sometimes if you run a hurry up, you can flip a play. You can cause... Uh, tight ends and receivers to switch positions and switch switch routes and stuff like that it says they fixed that even though that's something that's been in the game for a long time and they said they fixed it multiple times in the past i'm sure also fixed an issue where certain players or certain formations could make unlimited hot routes without the quarterback actually making any head movement or actually making any hand movements or really anything uh to let the opponent on defense know that they're making adjustments so those are all somewhat small fixes they're getting smaller as you can't tell the gameplay fixes that i'm going over are getting smaller um, as I go through the list and that's pretty much it so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna move on to the franchise updates before we get them up because I know every video I've put out about updates with player ratings and stuff like that I have people in the comments section saying when are they gonna fix franchise mode and if, if I I don't play a lot of franchise mode but from the looks of it from the things that people were saying in my comment section all of these major issues are, have been majorly addressed. The biggest one is the disconnection issue that was causing people to lose progress when it comes to the franchise. It says that they fixed the disconnection issue that was impacting the high volume of users in franchise and face of the franchise, where essentially um, you were, you know, disconnecting, losing, and you know, I, that's something where, yeah, you know, you're gonna have to play your franchise. I wouldn't surpri be surprised if it was still happening to some people, but it says they fixed that. So if you get in your franchise, you're still having issues, come back to this video leave a comment letting ea know that it's still going on or just send them a direct message on their on their twitter or whatever but that was one of the biggest issues is that a lot of people were saying franchise mode was basically unplayable because of that issue so hopefully it's fixed for you guys hopefully you can get back to your franchise mode because i used to play franchise mode a lot i know how important it is to people and hopefully that's a big issue that's fixed the next two are are geared specifically at uh, players making it to free agency that never should have made it to the free agency. Apparently the issue was that when a computer controlled team didn't have enough cap space to make an offer to a player during in-season re-signing, they would just let them go to the market. Where now, if they don't have enough money, they wait to the off-season re-sign period where, where the final decision before the off-season comes up to make that offer. And I'm sure that they increase the likelihood that they'll take that offer as well. But if they wait till the end of the year to, to try to make that offer, they'll more than likely have more uh, cap space based on the fact that other team or other players on the team's ca or, you know, salary cap or their, their contract will run out. So they'll have more money and then they'll be able to re-sign those players so that they don't get to the market. It also says that they improve the targeting lot Project so that the CB2 controlled teams will just be smarter about it instead of signing uh, because that's the other thing if they're, if they're passing on signing uh, their star players in season for cheaper players that they can afford 
in season, then they still won't have money to buy to, to you know re-sign the star players. So it says they really try to change the logics. Well, they're basically going to uh, better differentiate uh, between elite players, developing players, and depth players, meaning that they're going to target the star players. So there should be less star players making it to market, which will be way be way more realistic than in year you know in previous. Uh, years considering um that a lot of people were reporting that like huge you know not high 90 overall players were making it to the market that really shouldn't be there so those are some major issues there's a lot of minor issues that were uh, resolved as well uh one of them that i'm it's definitely worth talking about is apparently the playmaker archetype was not increasing the correct attributes when you're adding points. I know if you're spending the time grinding and trying to improve your favorite players and you're putting points on them and it's not improving what you're expecting to improve, that's super frustrating. Things like, uh, you know, when it comes to the archetype for a playmaker, things like juke move and break tackle and ball carry evasion are things that are more likely to increase now, uh, which is important. But it only really talks about that one, so I don't know if there's really any other archetypes that had issues like that. Also says fixed an issue where the top threat was someone who didn't make sense. So now top threats from week to week will make sense. Uh, and that's pretty much it. There's a lot of other really small ones. There is some crash that was happening if you were loading into formation subs without a head coach. I don't really know what that was, but none of these are really major. The major bugs when it comes to franchise mode have apparently been addressed and hopefully it sticks. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about is Ultimate Team. Uh, if you guys follow other Ultimate Team channels, you know that Most Feared is back. It's back every year. It's October. Uh, but they fixed a lot of issues when it comes to the Field Pass reward system which I'm really happy about. I'm also going to tell you guys about um, some of the rewards that they've added, which looked like clear, like, you know, makeup rewards for EA for dropping the ball these first couple of months. Rewards like Josh Allen, which you can get a 92 overall Josh Allen, which Gunslinger, I think, only costs like one AP. I forget which level that's at on the time of recording, but it's on the screen right now. You can also get a Deion Sanders, a 94 overall Deion Sanders at level 51, <clears throat> which... Let's be real. I don't think they've ever given out a reward that good. Typically, you got to pay an arm and a leg to get a 94 overall Deion Sanders when it first drops. Now you just got to grind, which is awesome. So thank you, EA, for that. Like I said, this entire update, I got to applaud because they really address a lot of issues. I can't. I got to save my applause to make sure it actually works. But for now, it looks like they really fixed a lot of issues. Now, the, another big one was the uh, crash in field pass rewards. I myself was struggling with that. I wasn't really progressing at all anymore, which I think is what they're talking about. It says they fixed an issue on field pass rewards when it comes to it not working it also says that they improved field pass xp total and level display so hopefully you'll get fa it sounds like they're boosting you're gonna get xp a little bit better like i said to me a lot of times i felt like i was playing modes and i wasn't getting any xp at all i don't know if i was doing something wrong but hopefully they fixed that it says they also fixed an issue when it comes to certain sets that were crashing which is another issue that i was having uh, where essentially, I mean, there's also some disconnect issue when it comes to field pass, but it, it, it sounds like they try to fix the new field pass, which is which is great. But if the, the sets issue was also something that was kind of annoying where I had to back out and start over and all kind of stuff. Um, the next one is authenticity updates. They gave new faces to a couple of players. I'll go over them really quick. Uh, obviously, new faces, I mean, they're actual faces. Uh, Trent McDuffie is the only first rounder that wasn't addressed in the last patch, uh, which I thought that they did update all the first round picks. I'm not sure if, I don't think Andrew Booth Jr. was drafted. I think he was a second round pick, but uh, Willie Gay, Andrew Booth Jr., Pat Fryermuth, Elijah Mitchell, and Christian Barrymore all got their faces in the game. Some uniform updates, uh, things like the black helmet for the Eagles alternates, which I'm going to start rocking, by the way. Uh, uh, because that's that's super cool. I use the Eagles in pretty much every game that I play because I'm an Eagles fan. That's super cool. Jets black helmet added for alternate. Cowboys white helmet added for color rush. Also got some new helmets like the VC02 in the trench for, uh, you know, whatever. That's If you were waiting for new helmets, they're here. Some new shoes. Adidas Prime Knit, Adidas Freak Ultra 22, Adidas Freak, and Adidas Zero, as well as the Nike Alpha Menace Elite 3, and also some stadium updates to the Steelers, Browns, Rams, Bears, uh, Bengals, and Giants. You're going to see some updated tarps and some updated walls and field goal pads and stuff like that. Nothing too major. At the end of the day, I went over all the most important stuff, uh, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. I mean, there's some general presentation issues, things like, you know, just make the game look more popular polished and uh, less stupid. But at the end of the day, the major ones were addressed. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, I said earlier in the video that if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Make sure to be a subscriber. And I'm also going to have that new meta defense, which I'm going to be making a second video about very soon, popping up on the screen. So if you need a new defense, and I'm sure you do, click the link on the screen. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my 
Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.